What's good you guys? Welcome to Maverick. I'm Karthik and today's episode I'm going to be giving you my review on a fragrance from the house of Joe Malone. So stay tuned. The fragrance that we have today is called the Incense in Cedrat which is from their Cologne Intense series. So Jo Malone has the regular line which has all the lighter and the airy based fragrances and then they have the Cologne Intense line which has a very bold and a you know very strong aroma to them. I've smelled practically all of Jo Malone's collection and I can tell you that most of their combinations are very simple. They don't use anything complicated and at the most they will use two or three different essence notes in all of their fragrances. All right, so time for a quick sniff test. So right off the bat, it has a very warm uh, amber opening. I can smell a bold incense aroma there as well. But it's not at all smoky, which I think is a great thing because, you know, I don't think anyone wants to be smelling of smoke. In fact, talking about Jo Malone's fragrances uh, and their, you know, this particular lineup of the Cologne Intense series, none of their fragrances are overly heavy, which is quite a good thing. And uh, this particular, you know, incense and cedra, you know, has a very unique uh, opening to it. So, talking about the notes of this fragrance, nothing too complicated. It has cedar, it has incense, and finishes off with vetiver. So like I said, Jo Malone does not believe in complicating their fragrances, very clean, very sophisticated. They've just used two or three different elements and that's it. So a lot of you may be wondering that, you know, should you be wearing this in the day or the night? And I can tell you that this particular fragrance is a classic blend between a day and a nighttime fragrance. And the reason why I say that is because the incense obviously makes it more suitable for the evenings. Whereas the vetiver uh, makes it more suitable for daytime and I've been wearing this fragrance more in the day and evenings rather than the nighttime. Most of Jo Malone's collection is actually unisex and this particular bottle out here is no different than that. If you ask me, I'm not a big fan of the unisex fragrances and the reason why I feel that is because you know I think a guy should smell like a guy and a girl should smell like a girl and there is a very distinct difference there. However, a lot of designer brands today are launching unisex fragrances and I guess the reason they're doing that is because it is appealing to a lot of people. But I can tell you that I don't think there's any harm in having a unisex fragrance because, you know, at the end of the day, you can wear it as well as your partner can wear it. Alright guys, while filming, I just realized that, you know, it's getting a bit dark because I'm filming this video in the evening time. So how about we take this video outdoors and have a little more fun with it as well. Alright, so not the best weather to be outdoors because it is quite hot and muggy. It's peak summers right now in India. But nonetheless, I think I should have not said that let's have fun outdoors because it's, it's too, too hot right now. Alright, so I'm back indoors. So let's continue this video. Talking about the longevity and projection of this bottle, it'll last you the entire day no issues at all just maybe two or three sprays in the morning and it's going to last you the entire day so i think you know when it comes to projection and value it's superb moving on to the price a bottle of cologne intense uh, starts with around 10000 indian rupees which is 140 us dollars and a bottle of 100 ml should cost about 13,500 which is around 180 US dollars. This is a signature line fragrance and obviously the price tag comes along with it. And say if you're comparing it to other designer fragrances, obviously it's not going to make sense because a designer fragrance and a signature line fragrance are two diff very different things. Now most of the other private collection signature line fragrances come at a starting point of 10,000. So there I don't think Jo Malone is any exception because this is a signature line fragrance and is also starting at a signature line price. All right, guys, so time for me to now give my rating on the sweet nectar. And I'm going to be smelling this once again before I give the rating. So I'm going to be giving this a straight 9 out of 10 because I have never smelled something so unique and amazing as this particular bottle. 
if you're a Jo Malone lover or if you're into incense based fragrances I would say definitely check this one out and I think you will start to adore this fragrance more than you expected by now a lot of you would be wondering that should you be buying this fragrance or not and I can tell you that considering the fact that there are not too many incense based fragrances out there in the market you could definitely consider this as your next purchase unfortunately there are no clones for this one in the market so I can't even tell you that you know if not this then you have an option of buying a clone so the only way for you to be picking one for yourself would be buying it off the shelf all right guys so this was my quick take on this gorgeous fragrance if you happen to own one yourself or if you're familiar with other Jo Malone fragrances then definitely leave a comment and do share your thoughts I would love to hear from you and if you've made it till here I really appreciate you for it do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications because I keep dropping new videos every single week and you do not want to miss them I will talk to you all in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye